Hey guys, Pokesick29 here. Welcome to episode number 26. In this episode, I'm going to show you guys how to add uh, enchantments to items. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and uh, give our stone sword and our stone pickaxe um, enchantments. And this is this uh, like the potion video that I uploaded before this uh, is very simple and very quick, but it's a very good thing to know. So first, we're going to say item stack um, sword equals new item stack material dot stone sword comma one. So we just you know created an item stack instance, which is just one stone sword. We called it sword, and then we will say, and then you're going to say right here sword dot add enchantment enchantment dot and then you can go ahead and pick one some of these have um, some of these names aren't exactly like the um, like the names in game so you gotta experiment a little bit but we um, created this sword and then we added um, knockback one to the sword and then you're just gonna go right here and replace it and say add sword and then we can actually go ahead and copy this, and this is for the wooden pickaxe. So, uh, sorry, stone pickaxe, I think. Stone pickaxe. And then um, we'll call it um, pickaxe. And then we will say pick pickaxe.add enchantment. And now a pickaxe can't take knockback, so we'll give it. Um, Loots bonus blocks. I believe that is um, fortune. Uh, and also, if you try to add an enchantment to an item that that can't take that enchantment, then you're going to have a problem. It will um, throw a it'll throw an exception, and you'll get a nasty error, and the kit won't work. So um, you're gonna want to you know test it to make sure it'll work. But you can also do for this item. You can say add unsafe enchantment, and it will add the enchantment even if that item can't normally receive it, which can actually be pretty cool. Um, you can add some uh, cool enchantments to items. So, exported that. We shall go ahead and give it a little try. Oops. Okay. And join our server. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and clear my inventory. Looks like I still have some night vision from before. But I'm going to go ahead and run the kit. And as you can see, there were no errors. So what we did was right. And now if we check it out, our stone sword was given knockback 1, and our stone pickaxe was given fortune 1. So that is pretty cool. And I'm going to quickly show you guys one more super amazing cool thing that you will really like. And I'm going to show you guys how to change the name and lore of an item. So that'll make more sense once I show you. It's just, okay, you're going to say... Item meta sword meta equals sword dot get item meta and you're gonna want to import okay so we uh, you know import the right item meta and then you're going to say sword meta for metadata dot and then you can say um, set display name and we'll call it checkcoy.red plus pain ringer. So we'll give it a cool name. And then we can also do, um, we can say list string lore equals sword meta dot get lore. And then we can say, make sure that you tell. And then you can say lore.add 
um, we'll say check color dot green plus this amazing sword and then dot add check color dot green um, can bring pain and then we shall say uh, sword meta dot set lore lore and finally sword dot set itemita sword meta and I'm not gonna do the same thing for the pickaxe because I don't really need to do that right now but you guys can just copy and paste it so now I'll show you that let me go ahead and get the kit and okay I thought that would happen 73 um 73 oh okay um you just wanna replace that with um new array list array list string Okay, and then go ahead and export this, and we'll reload. And there we go. So I have my night vision, whatever. And if you take a look at this, um, uh, the name is Painbringer, and it's in red. And the lore is basically all of the text that appears below it. So, you know, it's Painbringer, it has Knockback 1, and it says this amazing sword, and then on the second line, can bring pain. So you can, you know, change, you can give, you know, special named items, and you can, you know, change the, the, you know, what, what it says with the item, which can, which is, um, pretty cool. So that's all for this video. Uh, you learned about enchanting items and changing an item's name and lore. So, uh, as always, comment with what you want to learn, subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you all next time. Bye.